Hey guys, it's going on? It's Javon Blanc from Chill Tech. And on our doorstep today, we have the OnePlus 3. So of course, we're going to unbox it for you guys and give you our first impressions. Without further ado, let's begin. All right, so pretty much the unboxing was very straightforward. We have very nice, typical OnePlus packaging. And I say typical because since the OnePlus One, their unboxing has been pretty unique. Like this time they decided to put the phone in a cradle, or like a little like high quality plastic little cradle thing. Then they drop the packaging and the SIM card ejection tray inside of this little box. So that was pretty awesome to make room for the charging cable and the dash charger, which is pretty much their super high fast voltage charging solution. So, this is the phone. Of course we wanna get into the phone, but before we get into the phone, let's get into all the other stuff here. Let's look at the things that no one cares about too much, which is, looks like here we have a OnePlus 3 thing. Oh, oh look at this, this is a letter from the co-founder. Um, so their friends, I won't plus we understand, blah, 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 blah. Thanks to one plus, never settle. Okay, so moving on, we have the quick start guide. So if you're new to Android or you're new to the OnePlus series, and this will help. So this is a regular SIM ejection tool. This is the only thing special, but it looks cool. Too bad it doesn't come with a little plastic cover like before. We have some stickers, yay! So OnePlus decided to put stickers in the box this time. We It's a little OnePlus logo you can put in the back of your MacBook or whatever, and. They never settle, you can put in like some laptop or a phone case or... This is their signature first party charger. It looks nice, it's USB Type-C of course. It has a plastic over this USB Type-C. Look at some red inside, a lot of detail in here. Like I said, they do really good with, the, you know, with attention to detail stuff. Comes with a little charging clip. I wonder if it's reusable or not, but this is a charging clip. Keep the charger all connected. And this is their big battery brick here. So it looks like it's a five volt, four amp charger. This is really, this is really cool. So this is gonna be charging this phone really fast. They said even faster than the Nexus Rapid Charging and the, what is it, the Qualcomm 3.0 charge, whatever. And it's even even faster than its own parents company, uh, Folk Charger. So we'll see how this works. Apparently all the charging overhead, like, like former stuff will be done in here. That's why it's, the brick is so big. So we'll be seeing how this actually works. And that's pretty much it when it comes to the other stuff in the box. That's not the phone. So we have the phone here. And let's get some of this plastic off here. Everyone knows I do not like plastic and, and put the documentation on the phone. Put that plastic there in case if it's important. This looks like it's device information. A lot of these things you actually get from like the settings of most phones. Uh, so put that this in here. And. So first impressions here on the phone itself. Um, dirty? Like I don't know. This is really weird to me. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this here. There's like muck or something on the phone, and it's brand new in the box. Like, as you guys seen, I just rusted it down. So this phone came off the line with like jizz or something. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it's like caked on here to the back. I can rub it out so I'm not going to wash my hands after this. But now that this grody stuff is off. So the metal feels like the metal on like the HP Chromebook 13. It's like a texturized metal to it. 
It is smooth, but it's a slight texture. Wow, light. I think that's the first thing. This is light and thin. For a metal phone, this is very light, it's very thin. It looks like an iPhone, and it looks like an HTC phone had a baby, and that's a really good thing. So, two phones, of, you know, two designs of phones that I appreciate, so this works out well. So this right here is the alert slider. It gives you options to like mute and, uh, you know, have all notifications or priority notifications. That's pretty cool. We have a volume rocker that's not textured. We have a textured power button, right? Nope, nope. So we don't have a textured power button, so no textured buttons outside of the alert slider. So we have a SIM tray. On the bottom here, we have speaker holes, and we have microphone, and we have our three millimeter phone jack. We have, so apparently this plastic here, everyone keeps talking about, you know, don't peel this. This is actually a screen protector. This is not a bull crap fake plastic. This is actually a real screen protector they put on here. So keep it here for the meantime until we get our tempered glass. This is a really thin phone, like I said before. So of course, thin phone, protruding camera. This is kind of how it goes. But it looks nice. This doesn't look horrible. This phone looks really nice. OnePlus branding is etched in, so nice. Not gonna get you know rubbed out or anything. Giggity. And we also have the flash, which is really small, but it's, it's there. So this is a OnePlus 3 in hardware. Let's boot this bad boy on and see how long it takes for it to fire up. So pretty much this is the OnePlus 3. It automatically pulled from my Google account and it grabbed the wallpaper from the home screen. So let me go ahead and, oh, I'm gonna put in my pen now. Let me put it here. So as you guys can see here, it took from the main lock screen that I have set up. It grabbed the wallpaper, that was pretty awesome. So we'll see what the, what is the brightness set at? Hmm, it's pretty wild, it's pretty bright because this is set at about half, the same as mine right here, it looks like. Mine's probably a little bit higher. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's not as bright as compared. I don't know. We hit the whole screen thing and you know, and the count for in a full review. Like I said, this is a quad HD. This is a full HD. It says Google Now. Of course, we can put Google Now on here with the launcher, but natively, this has the shelf, which is a pretty much uh, a like a place where you can put all your widgets and memos and things like that here. So we'll probably play with that. Um, we'll see. We'll see here what we have. And let's, like I said, just make sure you check out for the full review because we'll have a lot more in-depth comparisons and we'll have a lot more detail on the OnePlus One software. But so far, it feels quick, it feels responsive, which is always a plus. So I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and first impressions of the OnePlus 3. We're excited to give this phone our full review treatments and we'll make sure to give you guys all the important details of this phone, including things like call quality and the, and the screen, battery life, all that jazz. So make sure you guys like and subscribe to see more videos like this, and as well as a full review of the OnePlus 3. Also, check out some of our other videos we have, and you see them in the little bubble thing card up top. Make sure you click those videos and check out some of our other reviews and other unboxings. And we also do game reviews. Check those game reviews out. And don't forget to hit us up on one of our podcasts straight out of this week. And of course, we appreciate you guys for watching. So like always, keep it chill, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.